Hello YouTube audience. Uh, today is January 25th, 2020. Uh, it's the Chinese New Year. Uh, Happy Chinese New Year's if you celebrate it. Um, so it's the year of rat. Um, so, uh, but today I'm going to work on this plant. Uh, this is called the Dawn Vibanum. Um, it's, I, I think the Vibanum X uh, Bod Bodnensis Dawn. Uh, I like to use, so this is the first time uh, I documented the development of this plant. So I like to take all the tag all the information into the video so that um, I can I can look at it later. So Don deciduous vibanum, uh, vibanum x uh, boldensis Don variety is Don, uh, a medium growing upright deciduous broad leaf shrub. Um, Pink tones flowers in winter, so it's very special. It flower in winter. Hardiness hardy to minus fifteen Fahrenheit height. Um, six to ten feet tall, six to ten feet wide. So it's a round, round bush, uh, typical deciduous bush. Um, fall color is orange and reds. Uh, sun to part shade and acidic soil. So I'm going to plant it in a decidu uh, a acidic uh, substrate uh, this time, which is when we think about deciduous bonsai substrate is this kanuma. So kanuma, okay. Kanuma, so it's a typical acidic substrate. Um, so let's see. The first thing we will need to do is to take it out of the pot and examine the root system. So the roots are January 25th are not normally when people think about repotting trees. But this year in Seattle, we have a very warm winter. And uh, you can see this, uh, this bush has already start flushing out. That's why I'm kind of worried to uh, report this on time because it is the ideal time to report a deciduous tree when it start to flush out to the the the, the things start to push you can see little leaf leaf bud is already start starting to open the theory behind this timing is the in winter the um, trees the deciduous trees store the energy in the roots and in spring they push the energy back into the leaves uh, and the root hasn't start growing yet uh, and which is the best time to uh, to report and when they you after you report it uh, and the the leaves comes out and start to generate energy uh, it um, uh, the energy get sent back to the roots and grow those roots. Um, so that would be the that would be in the full spring, and uh, so the roots would uh, it would not take a lot of energy away away from the plant, and it also um, would encourage the root to regenerate. So early spring when the when these typically when this 
but start to push, start to open, that would be the good time to report. So for this plan, especially this plan is, I think it's early. So my other plan hasn't shown sign of pushing yet, but um, this plan started. So I think this would be one of the early plan to, to flush out. So this is the report number one from nursery, nursery plant. So we need to take a look on the root system. Some good root is already starting to show. root base is pretty broad you can see there are some white roots it's uh, already starting to grow which is really really early Okay, so we can already start to see the root base. The widest root base is either here. Let me put this aside so that you can see. It. It's either here, it's flaring out, uh, or this side. So based on the width of the root base, um, it probably one of the, these sides are the one of these sides would be the, the front of the tree. Um, could, be, could be either side, but I feel this side may be slightly better because in this side, um, I'm not sure if you can see in this side if you see look at from the side it would be more it would be easy to see this side come out and it curve in so it's not like um gracefully flowing to the soil but this side it, it doesn't have this problem so seems like that side is slightly better here um so currently my opinion is uh, gravitating towards this side mm. also a lot of big roots um need to start to it's very very much root bound so um, it's good time to report this plant the roots are very well established very root bound so good time to report also <laughs> very surprising there are so much roots that's growing still growing almost like it's not um it's not entirely dormant 
that's probably the caused by the warm winter this year i feel that all over the world is experiencing a warm winter uh, because of global warming so we also need to work early to start reporting this year normally the in january the best time to report is february now is not even february yet it's uh we have start reporting so it's uh it's early it's early it we have to start because the the trees have start to response respond to the weather so especially this one it's uh, early earlier than other plants i don't think this week my japanese maple has start reacting yet you can see all these white roots they are starting to grow uh, also very very dense root You can see a very big root growing around the pot, which is we probably need to remove it. Ah, I Okay. Um, okay, if we decided this is the front, then I can start first pruning this thing. Um, because I don't want to tease this for an hour and then uh, have everybody tired and uh, still haven't seen uh, what to do with the tree yet so if we decide this as the front then there are some branches there that's uh, blocking the front uh, so first I'm going to remove this branch with the concave cutter okay cut into it This branch up. Also, these branches are starting to form inverse taper. Uh, I'm not going to deal with it right now because it's still a tiny tree. It would have time to grow. But where it start to form inverse taper, I'm going to remove all the branches except two, so that um. This would start to um, to have a normal thickness. Um, okay. Um, so this is this, and you can see it's very. This plant is very keen on. Uh, rebutting at the place where you cut so so somewhere here people cut it and um, it just but uh, all these little things back and it's starting to form an inverse taper so it's also a region that I need to 
deal with immediately or it's going to form inverse taper just going to get rid of this get rid of all these probably need to cut it a little bit more to basically carve out the inverse taper okay need to carve this place in a little bit hopefully it would heal over And now we have several, still have several branches uh, here. These two branches are um, too close to each other. So basically, we only need one of it. Um, this one is going towards the front. So I like that one a little bit more. So I'm going to get rid of the, the one on the back. Okay. So now we're back to two. Um, two branch principle. Uh, any place you have two branches coming out that would be sufficient okay i cut this a little bit more hopefully it would heal you have one so it bifurcate here one and two that's sufficient um okay so this look like that, this look like this. Um, I'm not too worried carving it yet because you can make it more perfect, but um, not necessary at this point. Here also we have a place, we have multiple things that's getting, pushing out, uh, which is, um, not necessary good over time it's going to form inverse taper here uh, also it's very straight I have no movement here you have a good branch moving this side so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to remove this central branch And um, let's see. Um, of course, you don't want it to, if this is a twin trunk tree, we don't want it to uh, grow the same height. So I'm going to remove some uh, branch here. Let's see. We don't know how good this plant is in dealing with die back yet, so I'm going to leave a little bit here. Um, so I'm just leave a little thing stump here so that if it has a habit of dying back, we will be able to deal with it. It's not going to kill these two butts. Okay. So this is basically the initial styling. Uh, let's see, I'm feeling pretty good, pretty good right now. Uh, this one is a little bit spoiling the, the front. We could wire it aside like this. Um, but we can do it later. It has a habit of 
growing multiple branch from one place so uh, just take correcting if you let multiple branch grow out from one place uh, over time it's going to have an inverse taper at these places but it's uh, it's still fine right now uh, I can maybe maybe later I can come and clean up this a little bit but now it's not no worry for that okay so that's the exciting part which take maybe a little bit several minutes to to do um, now it's the boring part I'm going to need to tease out this old soil which I don't even know if these are uh, acidic soil Maybe. But the, the roots are very healthy, very, very healthy. Uh, probably have a bunch of um, let's see, we probably have some pine bark in it, which is supposed to be acidic oh yeah we can add some pine bark to the to the mix too which make the soil acidic and it also gradually release some nutrient which is supposed to be good Heater is blowing at the tree again. I need to turn off that. Okay, continue. Very some woody. Yeah, it's very much a good time to repot this tree. So, I'm just going to Very thick roots there. I also don't know how um, how good this tree is uh, in terms of dealing with root pruning. Um, we definitely need to re remove a lot of rudy roots but I hope uh, yeah yeah you can already see the woody parts it's growing um, can you see this root it's woody probably a lot of big roots in there which need removal because ultimately we want to put the bonsai into a shallow pot so this deep roots is not going to do us favor
it's raining every day lately so it's very wet the soil are very wet so it's uh, not easy to get them out Okay, I think this is another raking video. Uh, just so much roots, which is a good thing. And you can see by examining the roots, there are, there is not much good uh, dead root. So they are all very good roots. Okay, this is the first big roots uh, that, of course, I will need to get rid of. It's uh, not very useful. Um, it should be not useful at all because it's not dead, but it's just woody and uh, it's probably a tap root. It's not there to suck energy in it's just there to stabilize the plant so any of these woody big tap roots i'm going to get rid of get rid of these little beads they are capsule of fertilizer. These yellow beads, they are, I think it's called control release fertilizer. Only when the thing is wet, it start releasing. Don't know what exactly it is. I suspect it's PLGA biodegradable polymer make a capsule of the fertilizer and when the capsule degrade the fertilizer get released You can see the root ball close to the the trunk. It's actually not very, there are not much roots near the root ball. A lot of fine root near the root ball is what we want to encourage. Now the roots are all going to the bottom of the pot, um, which is maybe normal for um, for a nursery plant because bottom of the pot closer to the drainage it's probably less wet and the drainage holes would let in oxygen so it encouraged the roots to grow all these fibrous roots are healthy good roots but 
we want them to grow grow closer to the 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 base of the tree. I'm just going to continue doing this. Okay, probably just going to lay it on the side and continue to try to tease out the roots. I think we would have to remove this root and this big root is growing around the pot. Let's remove it. Hopefully, I hope it's not a huge root that with a that's with a lot of um, fine roots attached to it, but it's very easy. Removing. Ah, I do not have a high pressure water jet. Some people use high uh, pressure water jet to wash the roots. That must be much easier. All these places we will need to encourage root to grow, all these around the trunk. Continue to tease out the old soil. pretty time consuming it's first time I report this tree uh, and I do not know which roots are major roots so I do not um, dare to cut it very easily but now this roots this root is a really very woody root and it does not have much uh fine roots attached to it so i'm just going to cut it 
Okay. big woody root here let's see what's what is it about a lot of woody root roots I'm under the impression that deciduous trees should be better in growing their roots. So maybe I can cut off more compared to uh, evergreen. Um, not necessarily conifer, conifer. Um, I, but I don't know whether this impression is correct, but there are a lot of correction need to be done with this tree because uh, it's a, a nursery plant. Uh, a lot of roots, very thick roots N near the bottom of the pot and if I don't correct it, I will not be able to put it into a bonsai pot um, so I suspecting, I'm sus suspecting that I would need to cut off at least half of the roots And I hoped it's going to withstand this. At the bottom, there are a lot of um, fine roots, which means the tree is very healthy, but they are so close to the bottom of the tree. which is not really a good sign because the bottom of the tree, I will need to cut off a lot of roots to fit it into a bonsai pot. So very dense. It either has been sit in the pot for a while or it's very good at growing roots. Well, this is root teasing video again. I guess in the spring, we will have a lot of root teasing video, which I will sit here, tease the roots for hours, and then try to fit it into a bonsai pot. <laughs> thinking I should not just let everybody sitting here uh, watching me teasing the roots. I think I will just tease the root off camera and come back for the actual report reporting. Okay, I will see you in the next part of the video.